Okay, and today I'm going to talk about um, drop shotting. Uh, it's uh, fast becoming the most popular part of fishing at the minute is drop shotting. Uh, so I thought I'd do, do my little piece on it. Um, I think some of you knew it would come in. Uh, if you haven't already, go check my uh, blogger, uh, River, River Biker Blogspot. Um, done a drop shot article on there which you might find entertaining. But today I thought I'd do my little bit on it. Uh, so, what is drop shotting? Um, well, it's a great method. Uh, today it's a little bit colder. Uh, this time of year, drop shotting uh, is pretty much the way to give you a good chance of catching fish. Fish are in tight bunches, tight groups. Uh, and, and getting your lure down and being able to hold it in the, in, in the spot is, is what will catch a fish. So drop shot has got basically uh, you have a little lead a little lead weight at the bottom and then whatever depth you want from 6 inch, 3 foot, whatever you want to work at, that's up to you. Uh, and basically the lead's designed to hold bottom and your lure is suspended whatever distance up. So you've got your lead on the bottom and your and your lure is here and basically as you just Jiggle your, your your rod, your lure does that, and your lure is basically stationary on a position on a depth, and it just jiggles, and you'll be able to perch all just looking around it, and one of them will just grab it. So drop shotting, uh, really good. Uh, it'll catch your fish in numbers, and it will catch your big fish. Um, but I have never done drop shotting, and I don't fancy it. To be honest, I'm a, I'm a low fisherman. People ask me. Uh, about drop shotting all the time, and I, I can't answer them because I don't fish it. Um, but drop shotting for me is not—it doesn't appeal to me. It's not exciting. Not as exciting. Somebody else might find it exciting. They do. But to me, it's not. I'm not. I'm not here to catch fish. I'm here to catch fish uh, how I want to catch them. So, so that's my bit on drop shotting. And the reason I don't drop shot is I just like simple. Cast it out, wind it in. So. Um, simple shad like that. Now that weight, that weight on that, I'll choose that, I'll make my, my decision that's made to choose that weight based on uh, wind, water depth, speed of retrieve, how fast water is. So I might use a bigger one. Oh, I've got a bigger one. There we go. See there. Two jigs. Really windy day, deep water, a bit shallow water, uh, quite a fast retrieve, keep it up, nice and steady retrieve. So that's what you're doing. And that to me is low fishing. I'm trying to low something and I'm using a low to do it and I'm not just having a predetermined depth where I basically hold it there with what drop shot is. So a quick a quick look at at my lows and how complicated it gets. We've got white two inch copy toe, white two and a half inch copy toe, various size jig heads, different shapes, different sizes. I've got a fluorescent green copy toe and unused natural perch looking they will work, but. so that's as complicated as fishing gets. I've got one cannibal shad. I've got I've got quite a few weeds in the other box, but fish minnows, really good low. Fish them a different way, rather than just a standard retrieve. You can you can bounce them across the bottom. I mean, it's nice and steady retrieve, and that look, that wiggle goes like mad. But you can bounce it up and down. That's quite a good low. And that's as complicated as it gets. So when you start out fishing. Everybody's starting out drop shotting, but when you start low fishing, just get some simple shads. Now it doesn't really matter if it's fox, uh, relaxed copy toes, Berkeley, they, they all do soft shads and they all work. And these are actually actually made by myself. Soft plastic, so it's, it's not not rocket science. Got the other box. Various savage gear. Four players, great low, rigged in a harness, or side-hooked. 
fucking cast it, Clutter. You've seen that in some of the other video videos. That glue, that load catch a uh, big perch. Um, that'll catch a big perch more often than drop shotting. I'm telling you. That just looks like an injured down fish. And you can leave it on the bottom. You can just lay it. I mean, you can even get um, jig heads that are shaped to make it just sit on the bottom like that as well. I ain't got any of them, but that's what you can get if you're tarty enough. So my lows and why I like low fishing. I mean, that's cram packed with tiny little cranks. Got a couple of a couple of spinner baits. That gives me options. Drop shotting. If you've just got drop shotting and loads of little fry, all you can do is change from one little fry to another little fry, and that's it. But you need to. But for me, low fishing. Cast out and retrieve. Murky water, spinnerbait, great low. Got to catch a pike and big perch as well. Um, and you've got shallow plugs with a rattle. Drop shot in, you ain't got shallow plugs with a rattle. So I can work that just a, a, a couple of feet under the surface. I can work it in really shallow water, really fast across, and get something to dart out. Not with perch, pike, sat in a reeds. Yeah, get, get things to chase. Perch, perch like to chase things. Um, They'll chasing numbers and they'll, they'll all, sometimes you'll have two and three having a go at that and four and five and you'll have massive shoals. Yeah. Another mark out on low. Ah. Little crank and shad, another shallow low. And that's caught me stacks of fish. Gives loads of flash. As it comes through the water it wiggles and it just flashes like that. And I like to jerk it, so it flashes a lot, and then it floats back and it flashes a lot, and you just keep jerking it and jerking it. So I'm working my load all the time, and that's where I get my fun from fishing. Um, get my fun from jerking it, working it, stopping it, pausing it, and then it's like bang when you get a smack. Um, I'm not really bothered about watching my rods it, just do this, and then for me, there's no excitement in that. Uh, I mean, I, my low fishing came mainly from um, from pike fishing. And you know what pike are like, just smack a low. So I like the, the thrill of it. So I'll drop shot and just don't appeal. Um, another one. Something different, got a bit of rattle, you can just you can just you can uh, vertical jig that. Gets a makes a lot of noise, gets a lot of attention. You can bring your perch into a swim. It's as, it's as simple as that is my low fishing and all these lows will catch me pike, perch, trout, chub, sa salmon, <laughs> get some salmon, sorry I'm just a bit distracted because there's a massive, there's a massive um, hot river further down, it's all water tuning in, which looks interesting, I've never seen that before, might be a hot water pump from this, I don't know what it is, some chemical place, so I'm going to have a go look at that, yeah, a little fourth layer, a little joint of fourth layer, I mean, that's, that's a shallow version, no lip on it, so that works for off top, and that, that's a love, another perch magnet, I mean I had a perch, you see my video, I had a perch on that, on a, on a big version of that. Um, what else have we got? Big cranks, another rattle, that's a deep diver, I mean that's, that's a good low, that catches loads of fish, that catches perch from tiny perch to big perch, that's, that's another good low. Uh, just easy, spinners. Now you know what a copper spinner looks like. Copper spinner, simple. That's my salmon catcher. So it catches perch, pike, everything. Awesome. Cheap, cheap spinner. Uh, and then King Daddy. Always tell people joint head repeller shad wrap. It just I mean that's a I think it's a seven centimetre version, so it gets down a good five or six foot easy casting. Trolling it gets deep of it. Five or six foot from the bank, and it's a cat had so many big fish for me. Pike, perch, chub, fantastic low. So, when you start off, you want to buy every low that everybody else has got that everybody else recommends. Well, I'll just tell you to buy a couple of um, a couple of soft lows, pile, uh, sorry, relax, copy to she had, simple, two centimetre, two and a half centimetre, and they'll catch a fish after fish. Um, and some plugs and some spinners and that's it, repiler, shot of repiler, shad wrap. Well you just your standard your standard shad wraps and things, they work. Sometimes getting me a little tail or a little bit of a feather on the tail, that's quite good. So that's it. That's my guide to drop shotting. Um, when you get bored of drop shotting, 
get yourself get yourself something nice like this a grazed G light spin it just bends and like one of my comments on my video says it bends and bends and bends uh, and it does and it's great fun whacking your clutch off whacking that off a little bit more than that as well whacking your clutch off and just it just bends and you just have so much fun with it uh, drop shotting rod this is not a drop shotting rod the drop shotting rod will be quite stiff with a, the end of it similar to a feeder but the end of it's just a little bit soft and it's the end that gives you the, um, the indication of what's happening tiny knocks will be just fish just nipping at it and then eventually it'll just bob down and that's when you, you most stiffer rest of your section that's when it hooks into it but this is just good fun and like I say when you get bored of drop shotting get yourself an article outfit like this and go have some fun cast some lures and uh, I promise you your lure fishing will last a lot longer because you'll do more, much more give it a go chasing chub trout everything you can get tiny tiny lures and chase rod and roach and everything so there you go right, I'm off fishing I'm going to try that, that feature down there that I've just seen so I'm a bit excited Nice perch. Yeah, nice. What about a fish, mate? Oh, that's it. <laughs> nice fish. Dev, can I pack it? Bonker, perfect condition. Little flipping it it's in there, but apart from that, minta. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Let's see it. That's a gorgeous fish. Look at colours on this. Look at colours on this. Wow, what a colour. God damn, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That is an awesome little cover. Ooh, the fire. <laughs> 